Welcome back my friends, I'm Mark Thomas. Welcome to my Home Outdoors channel. Today I'm gonna to show you the Terracotta Space Heater. This is something that you can heat a room up with four tea candles. And if you wanna see how this works or how to assemble it, check out my previous video. If you wanna see how this works over the duration in a room for like three to four hours, stay tuned and I will show you all the results. Okay, I'm gonna start out by trying to heat a small room. This is just a typical bathroom. It has a shower and tub right there. I just left the shower curtain closed. It'll look better for the video, I think. And I put a little four foot table in the bathroom here on the floor just to raise it up a little bit and cover the toilet. That way you don't have to see it. Um, and there's, yeah, a single sink right there. So it's a five and a half by seven and a half. And this right here, it's starting out at 66 degrees. That other temperature is 67. That's for my remote unit up in the ceiling right there. So as you know, heat rises. So we'll see after like one hour, two hour, three hours, how long or how much that that raises in temperature. Okay, I am starting the video right now. As you can see, I've got four tea light candles in there. Let me turn some better lighting on. And there is the 66 degrees and 67. Now I picked this room right here because it is a inner room. There's no outside windows. And today's a sunny day and there's hardly any wind. So the house temperature itself is not gonna change much. And I did shut the furnace off. So we'll see after like one, two, three, four hours what temperature difference, see if this thing really works. So let's check back. Okay, here we are. We are 47 minutes into the candles being lit and heating this room. Now, when I touch the outside, it's about as warm as, it's, it's pretty hot, but it's not too hot where you can't handle it. It's kind of like a heating pad turned on high. It's, it's nice and warm. The lid itself is not too warm yet, but it's only you know been a little over 45 minutes. So all four candles are going. And the temperature in the room has really not changed much, so we'll come back and check it maybe at the hour and a half to two hour mark. Okay, we are at the two hour mark. You see it? So I walked in the room, that I've kept the door shut the whole time, and it really didn't feel much different. I've heard other people that have made the video after a couple hours like, wow, it's you know a lot warmer in here. I didn't notice that. And I checked the temperature and the thermometer that's at the level of the heater went up one degree and the one at the ceiling went up one degree. So let's feel. That's, that's, that's pretty hot. It's almost too hot to hold your hand on it. Definitely hotter than before, like the one hour mark or whatever when I was feeling the heating pad and there's just a lot of nice warmth right underneath there. So I'm hoping the heat hits that and disperses it outward. So I've seen some other people, they don't cover it all and they let the heat go out the hole. But from what I've seen other people say works better, let me zoom in, is to plug it so all the heat is held in by the terracotta and over time it radiates it out. So let's come back after three hours, see what's happening. Okay, here's my final check-in. It's been three hours and 46 minutes. And actually one of my candles had burnt out and I didn't keep close track of it. So we're right on three tea light candles right now. And this is gonna be, like I said, my final check-in. And I'm gonna check the temperature. They are both at 69. And the, the upper one that's raised up three degrees and the one right next to it has only raised up two degrees. So, um, I was really hoping to like walk in the door and you know feel it warm up quite a bit. It is only about 25 degrees outside, 25 degrees Fahrenheit in case um, you're watching this outside the US, not Celsius. And I thought I'd open up the door and it would be you know pretty toasty warm in here. 
Um, even though it is cold outside, the sun's been shining all day, and there's hardly any wind. So the just the, the sun coming through the windows is keeping the the temperature relatively even throughout the day. So I'm gonna see how this feels. I haven't touched it since the last time. See how hot it is. Yep, it's pretty hot. The lid up there, it's warm, but nothing like scorching hot. Uh, I may have to, yeah, see you know what gives on this. Look at a different way to make uh, the setup. Maybe I can get some more heat out of it. Um, with all this pottery, the terracotta, it took a long time, you know, absorbing all the heat from the flames before it really started throwing out heat. I know once these candles burn out, it'll continue to radiate heat off it some more. So um, it works okay. And if your power goes out, it'd be nice to have it's a cheap way to heat a room or just have a little bit of warmth around you. But you're gonna to wanna to stay pretty close to it. It's not gonna warm up a huge room. So um, anyways, if you have any comments or a thumbs up, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. My friends, so what do you think? Is this something that you would consider making to have in case you lose power? Last year I lost power two different times for like five days a piece and it was not fun. Fortunately I have a wood stove to throw out heat but if you have no generator or no stove or fireplace this might be something that would be a nice alternative just to at least give you some heat. So another thing that I didn't really think about or didn't mention earlier is when I tested this in the bathroom there is an exhaust vent that is up in the ceiling. It was not running but I'm sure there's some air that naturally with the, the heat rising with gravity that there's some heat loss because of that exhaust vent. So the numbers probably would be a little better if I did this in a small room that didn't have any air exchange to it. So anyways, what do you think? Like to hear your comments. Thanks for watching.